Well, how do there, chums? You may have seen from my patch notes reading and how I started the expedition that I'm hitting up the Omega Expedition again inside my PlayStation save. So hopefully I can try and get the um, the runner, the Starborn runner, inside of my PlayStation 5. Now, I, I thought of a few more things that I want to take along with me. So I figured, let's just jump back in and go to the restore my, my previous save sort of thing. So I just went into here and I, I jumped back into the expedition from this menu. I'm going to head back over to this terminal and just see if the terminal screen has actually changed at all. Hold on, it'd help if I actually got the game image, wouldn't it? So there we go. Boom. No, wrong button. That was the right button. There we go. That's the correct button right there. So it says here... Copy Uberts. Well, they're not my starship. They're, they're the... They're, okay, cool. All right, fine. Let's see if we can add in a few more things that I want to take with me then. You can't. Once you've chose your loadout, you've chose your loadout. And it's not like you can just end your expedition and start over again. So if you fluff up in what you chose to take in, you're stuck with it. All right, okay, fine then. Resume expedition. Let's get back in, people, inside the viewer bus. So you're probably wondering, what things did I want to bring with me? Well, I wanted to grab myself a walker's brain so I could get the conflict scanner installed. And I also wanted to get myself some lubricant and some acid. Because then I can just craft myself the explosives that you're going to need to pop an actual mission. And that's about it. So it wasn't anything massive. Anyway, I'm scanning six types of flora at the moment. There's also a badge to scan the, flo the flora, the uh, fauna, sorry. So make sure you scan all the animals, scan all the plants, scan stuff, basically, people. Also, there's an optional milestone to make sure you've scanned everything on this first planet as well, in a roundabout way. It's a community sort of effort thing. So, you know, doing this is kind of counting towards that anyway. So might as well. There you are. Scan you. Scan this. In fact, every expedition planet has got that little marker on it as well for combined community effort. I don't know whether you have to wait until those times come around or not, to be honest. So here we go. Let's just get all these little plants scan decoded. I'll probably come out of this menu at the mo in a moment and it pop the um, mission for that one. We'll see. Scanning a rock too. Might as well. There we go. Yeah, I thought it would. Let's pick up these oxygen plants while I'm here. Might as well top up the old life support if I need to. Can we nick this? Ah, oh, we got bitten! Open up. Open. 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 Okay, don't. I'm going to zap you to oblivion then, you. You biting git bag. Chicka boom! That'll teach you and your biting ways, won't it? Okay, my ship's over this way. Not seeing any, any other red creature dots at the moment. I think we've pretty much done... Oh, look! There's a freaking colossal archive right there. <laughs> That's cool. Not that I need to go to one right now. Right, you, you can van... Oh, you bit me! You freaking bit me! Did you see that? Freaking wachicha! I didn't know he was a batter. Right, okay. Right, up. No. So we head towards my ship. Meow. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it... Oh, it looks like it's... It is one of the solar ships. I knew it would be a solar ship, but it's actually my logo colours, people. Last time I was blinking stuck with something nasty, but this actually looks half semi-decent. Actually, I really like that, as far as solar ships go. That's quite lovely. Oh, it is lovely. Cool. Let's, um, let's interact. It's almost like the one I've already got inside of my actual normal save. So, pure ferrite, dehydrogen jellies. Nice one. Okay. Let's have a little scout around. We need to get the uh, blue crystals. Oh, there's another creature over there, though. Let's go, let's go scan him. Ouch! Scan that creature. Come here, you. Brilliant, we got him. There's a blue plant over here. Oh, there's a whole load of blue crystals amongst the blue plants. All right, fine. Now, these blue plants, they just give you, like, a jetpack surge for a little while. Not that we need a jetpack surge right now. No, we don't. Right, now get Golia. And get all of that lovely blue stuff. Kill these hazardous plants to get all the oxygen that we need. Lovely, lovely. Take that, plant of evil. Now, there are these little pods around the side that you can grab, like that. Just don't get hit by the poison. There's three of these little pods, and you're going to get even more oxygen if you do that. Oh, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah, he's going to get, he's going to pop me. See, told you. Yeah, you get. 
Yeah, you won, you won. All right, you got me good. There you are. Die! Who won in the end, though? Me! Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, for whatever reason, it came up with dehydrogen for a second, then. I don't know what that was all about. Oh, there's another creature over there that I can scan. Okay, get scanned, you. Freaking scan, then. Why is he not... Oh, for fuck's sake. It's glitched out on me. Scan! I saw another bird one up here somewhere. He's going to get away now. No, he is not. I got him. Nice. Okay, well, I think we've probably done all the blinking creatures on this planet. That's mental. What a beautiful planet it is, though, people, eh? Awesomes. Okay. Well, you know what I could do? I could head towards that colossal archive, because there's a galactic trade terminal there. I've got some bits and bobs on me. I can sell those bits and bobs. I guess I can. That's it. Interact with this. Leto! There's a lot of lore inside of this. Now, I've already done a full playthrough of this, and I think it's exactly the same. So, you know what? I think this is just like a little best starts video, and I might put some of my best tips in here. So, that's pretty much how you get yourself started anyway, people. I put a video link up there to my full playthrough. If you want to watch the full playthrough of this, because it almost feels like I'm about to do it all over again. I, I don't really want to do it all over again. I've already done it once on my PC safe. Go and hit that up. But coming up is going to be my best tips for this expedition. Okay, cool. Okay, chums, you saw everything that I chose to bring into game, right? Um, it's not anywhere to be found. <laughs> it's not here. So after all that delegation of the, the sort of things I wanted to bring into the game, <laughs> not here. Um, I'd imagine what I've got to do is go up to the Nexus and pick it up inside of the Nexus is all I can think that I've, I've got to do. That's the only thing that makes sense right now. So, you know, this is the first time I've done this. So, you know, there we go. There's, there's my first tip. Get yourself to the Nexus as soon as you possibly can. It's probably my first tip, people, on the side of the view of us. There we are. Just got the adjacency bonuses for all my tech. It's another good tip. Make sure you get your adjacency bonuses sorted out as quick as you possibly can. I should have brought some repair kits with me, shouldn't I, people? I can repair that, though. That's, that's done. But yeah, cool. I've got a fair bit of repairing to do, because I didn't think about repairs. All right, people. Cool, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Now, something to look out for is just pulpy roots as you're going around. And the other thing to look for is heptaloid wheat. If you see heptaloid wheat and you also see pulpy roots, make sure you grab them while you're on your travels. You're looking for, like, a little air of corn, like this sort of symbol. And it would say like heptaloid wheat or or, or um, pulpy roots like I just found there. As you can see, there's a load of freaking ones over there. Impulse beans, no, nope, not them. But yeah, because you're going to be able to make flour, you're going to be able to make your biscuits later on, people. Which is a it's a badge that's later on the side of the game. I'll scan those creatures as well. But yeah, a little mini tip for you. Okay, now I did mention about picking up heptaloid wheat if you see it. I just so happened to spot it. And this is still the first planet that I'm on, so I'm grabbing that now, I guess. And I've spotted a base. Someone has actually built a base here. I don't think they've actually got any of the um, plants that I need to harvest here, which is a bit of a shame. There's no biodome or anything like that. But yeah, I just happened to chance across a base. Pretty darn cool. And it's right near my ship. Don't know how I missed it prior, people. But yeah, pretty good. Yeah, so we've got those. I don't know whether I've got a neutral... I haven't got a neutral refiner right now, or else I'll make the biscuits pretty much immediately. We must get given the nutrient processor later on, but I'm just going to keep those. I'll probably put them inside my starship until later, until they're needed, people. Okay, Joms, my next tip for you is when you take to space, and you get all this groovy music taken off, head towards the ringed planet. It's actually got ancient bones on it. Just dig up one ancient bone, it's going to pop a later milestone for digging, digging up a relic. Heck yeah. And on your way to the next planet, look out for meteorites in sp oh Yeah, just spin it around. I'm going to go back for those meteorites. Shoot 50 of them and you're going to pop another badge. Plus you're going to get a load of resources that are probably going to help you out, like gold and stuff. Sometimes the larger potato rocks that you see amongst these are probably going to give you more gold. And you can shoot like big holes in them, like this one here maybe. I think no, that's not a big potato rock. But the big, the big ones are more likely to give you gold. Here we are. I'll just keep shooting these. There you go. I've got some gold there. But I need to shoot 50 of these. So I'm just going to carry on shooting these. And then I'm going to carry on going down to the planet. I've just got a golden nugget amongst all of those. So if I pop that, 
That's going to get me some gold. Yeah, you need like 50 odd gold later on, so make sure you don't use up all your gold. Keep it. Um, because you are going to need that later for crafting something fairly important. I know I had to go shooting rocks again because I went and got rid of my gold. But there we go. There we are, people. Little tip for you. Shoot the asteroids, 50 of them, and go to the ringed planet. Dig up yourself an ancient bone. Also, the ancient bones are going to sell for a lot up in the Galactic Trade Terminal. And you can buy yourself your microprocessors for that. You're going to need five of those to install your warp drive. So make sure you get a lot of monies. Thank you, yes. By selling ancient bones. There you go, I'm getting close already to popping this badge. Now, I think it's like a, a phase two milestone, this one. Yeah, just shoot a couple more of these, and you're going to see me pop that badge. There we are. Boom, Stardust. Mine 50 odd asteroids. Lovely, jubbly. Cool, yeah. Done. Uh, well, wrong button. And I'm going to go claim that now. Sweet! When you are coming into planets, if you shoot the surface of planets, you're going to get yourself loads of ferrite dust, you're going to get yourself loads of carbon, you can get yourself loads of resources just shooting the shite out of the planet. Sometimes you can lucky and get dehydrogen jelly, get oxygens, all sorts of stuff. Just don't let your weapons overheat. Also, try and find yourself a building by using your scanner, finding a building. If you can find one that's got like a little landing beacon, you're not going to use your launch thruster fuel taking off from the actual place. I don't know whether this one's actually got one, to be honest. It doesn't look like it has. But there's another building just over yonder hill, so I'm just going to fly over there and see if this one's got a landing beacon, which it hasn't. So I'm just going to carry on, and I'm going to wait until I find one that has some sort of landing platform. There you go. That, that one's got a little landing beacon, I believe, and a little save point flag there. There you go. You can see it. It's got the green rings. See that little beacon? Stops you from using your launch thrust if you're... I want to add these little save spots as well, peeps. If you hit them up, you are going to get given a free navigational data, which might come in handy for a planetary chart. And you're going to see it pop just up here in a second. Any second now. Come on. Navigational data! Pa -pa! Uh, and these boxes, if you are harvesting them, this rusted metal, if you put it into a refiner, is going to turn into ferrite dust, which is always handy to get ferrite dust early game, especially if you want to build a base later on, people, which we are going to have to do. Okay, people, I've arrived at an ancient bone site on this um, planet. There we go. Should be able to get my ancient bone. And there you go. Dug up freaking Relic Hunter. There we are. I'm going to grab another ancient bone anyway. Because, yeah, they sell for a bit. And then I could be able to buy myself a load of lovely, lovely bits and bobs upon the actual station. Yeah, the well circuit boards are what I'm going to need to buy. There's a sentinel in proximity right now, so I can't harvest very much on this planet, people, inside the viewerverse. Heck no, I can't. So I'm just going to head back to my old shippity ship, and then we're going to continue on with the old missions. But yeah, it's this is a very straightforward mission. To, this is, It's very easy, this expedition. It really is. So I don't think you're going to find anything overly taxing here, people. I really don't. Okay, right, well, one of the actual missions is to put down a base. And I'm going to put it on this planet, considering there's ancient bones here. If I do get short of any sort of resources, it's probably going to be a good place to come back to. Also, you know, I picked up the heptaloid wheat. And I also picked up um, the other pulpy root. I'm going to go pick up some fireberry as well. And the reason being is if you mix the biscuit and just make a dry biscuit, it doesn't pop the badge. You have to add in one other ingredient. So I'm just going to grab a fireberry. You can use pretty much any plant on planets to get the other ingredients for a random biscuit to actually spawn in but yeah just be aware it does take an extra ingredient okay later on inside of this you're also going to need to put down a nautilum bay and on this same planet that has got these like ancient bones there is salt you're going to need salt to actually put down a nautilum bay so grab some salt while you're here you don't need much of it just a little okay when you're spinning up copper into um the chromatic metal I, would, I wouldn't take all of it, to be honest. Um, I would try and separate it into two piles if you possibly can. So there you go, it says transfer items. It's not giving me the uh, opportunity to do half of it. So I'll just do some of it in here. Okay, so I don't, I want to retain some of it because I'm hoping to make rocket launchers and other bits and bobs. And there's also a few repairs to do that needs copper. So I'm just going to wind that down a little bit to about what? I'm going to need it on 50. It's a shame I can't do it even, even less than that, but there we are. I could have split it inside of my inventory, to come to think of it, people. So let's just do... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's just get it out of there. Take that out. 
I don't know why it's not letting me split it inside of my inventory. Ah, uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, I'm going to get these installed as well, just to get myself a little bit of extra free space. Yeah, so keep on top of your inventory, people, especially when it comes to installing your old modules, because you need to move these. So why is it not letting me do quick split? There we are. I just want like that, maybe. Okay, there was something to actually fix inside of here using copper. I want to make sure I've got that fixed too. Okay, and I'm going to pick that up again and put a little bit more over there. So I'm probably going to do that. I don't think I've got the I haven't got the actual things yet for it. So we can get that in there. Uh, okay, so no. Oh. I put the largest amount, which is the 493 in there. Oh, there you go. You can just press square there when you pick it up. It just doesn't tell you that you can do that. All right, there you go. I messed around a little bit there, but there we are. I want to make the chromatic metal enough to make my base and enough to install the hazmat gauntlets. And I'm keeping the rest of the copper to make some rocket launchers for my ship. Okay, so now I should have enough to make the hazmat gauntlets. There we are. They're in. We're going to need those for picking plants later on, people. Yeah, because you've got to pick certain plants as another milestone. Let's put down our base computer. Let's go clean my base. There we go. Now, there's quite a lot of base building that you have to do to actually unlock the badge for homecoming. And you're going to need a lot of resources. And some of those resources are glass, which uh, can be a little bit finicky if you're going to do it the correct way, which I'm definitely not going to do it the correct way. There we go. Let's go into here then. Back in, uh, back into the expedition. Phase one. We're going to select homecoming. Make sure that we've got that selected. Uh, right. Okay. So why is it not showing me the base plans? Okay. We'll hit this one again then. See if it says anything. Collect base parts. There we go. Sweet. So if you haven't got any base parts, interact with the machine again. There you go. Right. Construct foundation. Bit of an odd one, this. Um, because it's not going to do much foundation-wise unless you put this in first. So I'm going to go into wire mode and press wire and place at the same time. And I should get it for free. Oh, balls. I've gone and glitched myself in here. <laughs> um... Whoops. Okay, I need a door on there to get out. Oh no. I think I'm stuck now, people. Yeah, I'm stuck. Alright, I'm going to have to do a restore. <laughs> and I don't know when it last auto-saved. Holy fudge. Dang it. That'd teach me, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, right. Well, I'm back in again. There we go then. So this time, what I am doing building, I'm going to go into the build camera mode. And I'm going to build it a little bit away from me. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to press the wire mode, which is triangle, then R2 and triangle at the same time. So that's the wire mode and place at the same time. And if you do it a few times, like so, and then just go back out of wire mode and delete everything, you're going to get a load of resources, which is pretty darn snaz. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in. And I want mine to be slightly off the ground. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm just going to stick this up here. Okay, that's still not bloody working, is it? Alright, fine. What the flying fudge? Why is it that way for? That's weird. Alright, come out of there. Alright. Um, I give up. I'm just going to put the foundation on, on the floor then. It's just going to go there. Bit random. Don't know why it's not working properly. But um, it, it isn't right now. And for whatever reason, it's not building. Look. What the actual flying fudge is wrong with this foundation part? Oh, there you go. Now it's there. Just took its time to blink and appear. All right, we'll put that on there. I'll stick a door on the front here. Okay, that's not the front. That is. Coolio. Uh, I'm going to put the ramps on as well. I kind of know the parts that I need because I've already done this inside of my other save. We going to need a straight corridor. Okay, we haven't got enough parts for that. So I'm just going to go in build mode and use the wire in place. Put down a load of them. So I can then delete them all get all the resources and then I can place it where I want it like so 
Now you need two of them, but you also need two with the glass in it as well. Or well, you did do on the ops on experimental you did. You don't now. Okay, that's cool. Alright, now I need another cylindrical room. Pow! Coolio. And hazard protection unit. We need to go inside there. Let's go stick it inside of here. Lovely, lovely. I bet everybody's bases look exactly the same as this, you know what I mean? Stick that there. Get that one, put it next to it. There we go. Construct a battery. Alright. So Oh got enough for that anyway. Cool. Nice. And then solar panels. One and two. Cool. We've got that in. It says now to install storage containers. I'm going to store them. I'm going to go into camera mode so I know that I haven't gone and stuck it in the way of the corridor. I'm going to stick one there. And I'll stick the other one. Aha! We can't build the other one yet. So now I can. Pow! And I'll stick that one just in like so. Now these actually need power, so I'll stick that to there. And this over onto there. Be careful you don't connect it to the door linkage or else it goes horribly wrong. There we are. Done. Now you can upload and rename your base. Right, where's my base computer gone when it's at home? There it is. Got you. So yeah, there we are. A few little tips on how to get your base parts in. You can just glitch them in. Okay, it's all my ancient bones. Now I can install the warp drive. Thank you, it's lovely jubbly. Uh, now I need to craft warp fuel. Right, okay. So, create the antimatter. Create the antimatter housing. Then you can create your warp cell. And that you can use to fuel your ship. Everybody's a winner, winner. Chicken, frickin' dinner. All day long. Let's uh, fly it out and fly to another system. Pop a batch. I guess. So I'm just going to do that by flying out of here. Bringing up the old... Doohickey. You can see there the Nexus. You can't summon the Space Anomaly or the Nexus right now, people. So I'm just going to jump one system because that's about as far as I can freaking go with my warp drive range right now. And we're going to be calling in the old Space Anomaly, hopefully when we get to the other side. Right. Rave decated. Grab that. Lovely. Brilliant. Uh, expedition. And pop that badge. Done, dilly and done. And at this point, people, I'm hoping I can call in the old space anomaly. We've just got to answer this message. There's good old Nada. It's going to let us in. Sweet. Heck yes. There's the space anomaly. And it's at this point that you should be able to go over to that terminal that we started the mission from and pick up all the bits that you've set aside for this expedition. At least that's what I'm hoping is going to happen, people. Fingers crossed, eh? Let's go on in and let's see if that's the case. Okay, so I'm just going to pass Johnny 5 here inside of that little encampment thing and go around here and let's see if we can get all the commodities that I squirreled away for this expedition, people. Lovely jubbly. Chicka boom. And yes, look, it's all there. Okay, right, chums. Well, I've picked up all that stuff from the actual terminal. I've got it all installed. So everything's freaking awesome. I'm heading towards Rendezvous 1. But before I do that, I'm going to go into the station. There is also the objective to talk to 16 aliens inside of this. Now I spoke to all the aliens in the first station. Speaking to all the aliens in this one it should pop a badge. You got to speak to 16 in total. There we go. I'll just pop the badge for Astro Linguist. Oh gosh, brilliant. Eh? So yeah, I can go pop that one as well. That's quite a later one as well. So there you go. A little bit of a nice tip for you there. And we still haven't finished phase one, rendezvous one. So I've done quite a lot of side missions. I've got myself set up for the later missions. We've got the hazmat gauntlets in. We've got all the bits that we need to make our biscuits, which are some of the hardest missions later on. But yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, a little tip. As you're approaching the rendezvous area, well, as soon as you see the first comms ball pop up, I don't usually like comms ball, but they actually do serve a little bit of help in this instance. So the first comms ball I saw pop up was this one over here. So I'm going to head towards that one. And that usually means that's where the most comms balls are. If you head down here, there you go. Now we're at rendezvous. What? We're about to happen to search for it and walk on foot all too far. That's a nice little tip for you. And also a landing pad. So 
I don't have to use my launch thruster fuel. Lovely jubbly. Also, these uh, solar ships, they do recharge your launch thrusters anyway a little bit. That's one of their perks. Yeah, so here we go. Let's head on over this way and hopefully it's going to pop the badge as soon as I interact with the terminal. Yeah, it doesn't pop the badge until you get to about here. Lovely jubbly. Cool. There we are. And I should be able to now collect that. Boom. Done. Oh, if you don't want to put them inside of here, you can click up into technology and install them in your technology if you prefer. But I, I need the space down here at the moment. We're running out of space rather rapidly. There we go. We've got that one in. I wish it was um, technology for my ship, to be honest. There you are. Done. We've now got all the posts set. And that's that's the best. That's your best start tips, people. So they're your best tips for the best start inside of um, this expedition. How to get all your stuff that you've pumped into the machine before starting the expedition. And then, you know, a couple of setting yourself up for a bit later game. I think if you want the rest of my tips, it's probably best just to watch the playthrough of each of the different um, phases. It's pretty darn freaking simple, to be honest, though. I don't think there's anything in this expedition that's going to cause you guys out there a headache. And if there is, leave a comment inside of the video comments where you're stuck. And I'll try and make bespoke videos on where people hit up and say they're stuck on something. Anyway, I think I'm going to end off because I have already done the full playthrough of this. So there we go. I'm just going to get in my ship because I'm melting at the moment, people. Yeah, lovely. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be... I think that's. I think that's probably about it really people i don't think there's anything else i need to really touch on i mean yes i've got the hazmat gloves and it can be a little bit tricky to find the actual planets that spawn the the, the, the flora that you need to make your your crafted goods and stuff but i don't think you're going to struggle uh, all the actual pointers in this one are really helpful so if you do get stuck though let me know until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again